Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome to Oilers After Dark. My name is Matt. Usually you see a big board back here with goals, 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 goals. Oilers win or Oilers lose, who my three people were, who my one person was. Power play, shots, all that. Instead, I'm just going to write, I'm just going to write one name. One name because that's, that's all that we're going to talk about tonight. It's going to be a quick video, guys. That's it. That's all I got to write. <laughs> what more needs to be said? Chris Lee, you're fucking atrocious. You took what could have been a really good game. You took what could have been a classic Edmonton, Toronto, March game with good feel, good momentum, good hits, good back and forth, top two players the last two seasons, and you made it about yourself. You made it the Chris Lee Saturday night show. And I, for one, am sick of watching you ref games that involve the Oilers. A la Calgary Round 2, Calgary Edmonton, the whole series, you're a fucking joke. Every Toronto Maple Leaf game that you ref against the Oilers is a fucking joke. You are a fucking joke. Yeah, I could talk and on and on and on about the Oilers losing because they didn't deserve it. But I'm going to talk about when they got the power plays versus when they should have got the power plays. First power play, Kane tripped. Marner. Okay, whatever. It is what it is, what it is. You move on. Oilers killed it. Kind of not really because Kane was on the ice and they still scored. Toronto scores. Okay, so now they're up 1 0. Oilers score 3 on answer, go up 3 1. And then the fucking shenanigans starts because Chris Lee just can't help himself. Dude, you can't help yourself but be a fucking idiot. You can't help yourself but be an atrocious bad official. How many incidental contact minors did you make? Instead of calling one, you called them both because you knew, well, if I call one and it's against the Toronto Maple Leafs, these fans might riot. Good. Let them do your fucking job. Call the fucking rule book. You didn't have a problem calling Kane for a fucking trip that wasn't a trip, but I digress. No. Derek Ryan is standing in a battle. Gets cross-checked from behind, whether it was a hard shove, soft shove, an AHL shove, a peewee shove, a toddler shove, a push from behind with a stick is called cross-checking. No, we don't call that. So McLeod gets the puck out of the net, out of the battle, passes it to nobody, Marner scores, butterfly effect. You call that penalty and none of the shit that happens later on in the game fucking happens. So that's on you. Oilers were up 3-1, they lost the lead, they lost it, whatever. You gave them another power play, they were down 5-3 and you're like, Oh, here's a brilliant idea. 2.5 seconds left in the second period. Whistle, power play, Oilers. Good job, buddy. Standing ovation. You called a penalty against Toronto. You knew that it wouldn't affect at the game. You knew that calling that penalty there would make some Oilers fans happy. Well, I called a power play. What more do you want? Because you knew that the chances of order scoring on that power play were slim to fucking none. That's why you waited to call the next power play when it was 7-4. So you didn't call it was blatantly fucking obvious. Guy two hands a guy on the fucking wrist trying to break his wrist. Can't call that apparently. Coincidental minors because, well, the guy that got slashed in the wrist retaliated with a hook. You're a fucking brilliant official. Sign you up for fucking the Einstein Award or something. So I digress. Chris Lee, you win the game. Toronto, congratulations on your two points. Good luck never making it out of round one in any of the 2000s, 2000, 2010, 2020s, 2030s, 2040s. You're the definition of a bullshit franchise. You should be better than you are, you regular season bunch of hacks. That is it for this video. My name is Matt for Oilers After Dark. We're on to the Senators on Tuesday there in Edmonton. Boy, do I feel bad for the Senators. And this is one time. I'll finish it off with this. Dry Settle got power play goal again. Leads the league in power play goals. NHL history is on his side right away. 
But moving forward, the Oilers cannot give up leads like they did. Regardless of the situation, no matter how bad the officiating is, you can't give up three two-goal leads all the time. So that's it. I'll see you on Tuesday. Senators, you're in for a hurting. And I want, I want someone in that Oilers locker room. McDavid, Dreisaitl, Kane, Nurse, one of you guys to get cojones to call out this blatant bad officiating. Name the fucking guy that you don't want officiating your games. Chris Van Vliet did it for the Toronto Raptors. Yes, he got fined $30,000. But you're multi, multi, multi millionaires. It's about time you guys stood up and said something about this officiating shit. Otherwise, you're going to keep getting screwed. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. My name is Matt for Oilers After Dark. See you guys Tuesday. I'm out.